Welcome back, everyone. Criminal Archer here. Time for some more help will come tomorrow. So we died last time. I don't know why continue is still an option there. We're going to new game here. We'll do this difficulty again. Yes. Actually, you know what? Let me see what happens when I hit continue here. What is the thing that's going to occur here? Everybody was dead. Or did I quit out before everybody died? I could have sworn I waited until this lady died. Yeah, there you go. We did. Yeah, we did. Okay, it just didn't didn't save it. Okay, never mind. Go back. All right, new game. Survivor level. All right, we know this. Train crashes. We got different people. It's not entirely. Nope, that guy's the same. Almost a different. Pe we barely escaped death. Can you hear the shots? They're killing other survivors. This is a replay from Zeminsky Square. The Tsar supporters are opening fire on the proletarians. Talking nonsense. They're just thugs. They're deserters. Don't talk so loudly, they hear us. This is all the same. It's just different people saying it. Alright. Cover our footprints. Um, no. I think I can do it this time. We'll try it. Alright. Wow, well, a bunch of these people only have two action points. Here, you do that. You unsnow that for me, please. Okay. Alright, who are our people here? We've got Arist Aristocracy, Zofia Butniva. Sick, Shivering, Fatigue. There's no trust with this lady. I was decent trust with this guy. No trust with this guy. This old lo lady looks like she's had one foot in the grave before the train derailed. That's not great. Alright, you're a revolutionary, Maria. She trusts this guy a lot. She seems to be a trusting soul. She's got a little bit for everybody. This young girl was the maid of the train where you were going. Got a neutral, Sir Edward Gray. A little bit of trust. Owner of an impressive and well-groomed mustache. Looks like a foreigner. And this is Alexi. We had him last time. Alright, so we need... We undid this. We need to start a campfire. Alright, so we have enough for that. Alright, we're going to use you again. And we'll use... You to start the campfire. All right, chance to regain AP while cooking food. That's all we got. Okay, so she's done, she has nothing else to do. Let's throw some pine cones in there. Or another one. 10% feels good. You shouldn't have saved me. Right, let's unsnow this. Let's have her do it. I'm not gonna unsnow everything this time. I don't think it was really worth it last time. Weak. Character, character gets tired quickly. Great. Actually, let me go back over here real quick. Simple lining. We don't have enough. Never mind. A quarantine point we don't really need. A quarantine point actually, now that I think about it, she is sick. Oh, he's sick too. We got two people that are sick already. I don't think that's going to save us anything. Let's go ahead and unsnow this. Lexi can do this. Alright, workbench, makeshift. 
don't think we need to put that together because there's nothing we're going to be able to build right away, so. Actions. Prove relationship between two characters. Hmm. Wait, how did she end up with two... Did we two? Did we ever? Oh no, because I didn't actually have her do it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you know, we'll go ahead and unsnow this. Use you to do this. It's not enough wood. We have enough material. We don't have enough of anything else. All right. Okay, so that was not really worth it. I'm not going to worry about the palisade right now. All right, you have indigestion. You're cold, sick, fatigue. We have a few action points here. Let's do. Let's do fraternization here. I don't know what the repair here really is. But I'm gonna give this a shot, because I don't really know what it is we're repairing. We're making the campfire better, okay. All right, so that's all of our skill points, let's go. I wanna know about Sir Edward. Bloody hell, what an adventure. Almost like in 1910, when Azerbaijani fighters derailed my train. He's a Brit. Or as Wadi Halaf in 1902. Only then it was the boiler that exploded. You participated in many rail disasters, mister? Gray, Edward Gray. Indeed, I've had many adventures. I try to avoid only those in which nobody survives. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, do, do, do. Let's wait for the patrol. Let's just take a breath and think about it. The train didn't reach the next station, right? Railway employees must expect us and send a patrol. So what? They can't find us here. Rescue may be any moment, and we must give them a sign. We have to hide. Let's discuss it. Let's discuss it. Okay, that's not stupid at all, but remember that we are in the middle of the Trans-Siberian Railway and the next station is just a patch of dirt. Yes, but the employees have some duties, I suppose. Do they check the snowbanks on the tracks or are they as lazy as in St. Petersburg? It's probably a few old men who should have retired a long time ago. They will actually come on a hand car in the next days. That's not worth catching them. And it's worth catching them then. Don't expect a rescue from a military squad. Look out for a patrol of rail workers on the eastern tracks. Okay. Nine days left to finish. So does that mean I need to wait? I need to make it to nine day nine for this? I think that's what that means. Everybody seems to like each other a little bit better now. That's good. Honest. The trust of others toward this character is constantly increasing. Braggart. Yes, he is. This character loves to brag. Initially, they gain more trust and regularly lose it during the game. Humbug. Trust and friendship towards this character increases at first, then they constantly decrease. All right, so we've got fatigue, we've got hunger, we've got thirst. She actually got over her sickness. He's still sick. Exhaustion, big hunger, big thirst. All right, so we have some water. I'm gonna give it to Mr. Big Thirst here. Big hunger, here you have a, a root. And you have a root. You can have a, you can have a bug. I actually, I can't cook this food, can I? No. 
and cook the food right now. I don't have enough clay for this. Okay. Let's do an expedition. I'm going to try to be more aggressive with this expedition this first day, because I feel like that's probably the good idea. Send these two out. I don't have any clothes. Alright, let's go towards the train first. Good stuff there. Yes, you're fine. Sorry, my dog is making it, being annoying. Risky, risky, average, insignificant. Um, I'm gonna be risky here. This is probably a bad idea. Lamp oil, charcoal. Okay, let's go here. Please don't get lost. Alright. Now they probably need to come home now. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff there. Feel good about that. What are you going to do up to 14% here? Wood material. Let's actually try and get a bed going. Simple lining. Rags, needles. It's a solid one too. Um you and you. I never managed to pick people who like each other. Every time I do it, it's always like, I don't like you. Better to avoid cuts, this character has a bigger chance of bleeding. Great. I don't trust you. Very low morale. Yep. Isolated bed. Two people can rest in the shelter at the same time during the day. Additionally, rest reduces more fatigue. Shh. Be quiet, Daphne. I'm busy right now. All right, who needs fatigue? So you have a hand wound. You need it. You have got real bad exhaustion. So let's actually put um, Lexi over here. Give him rest. Let him rest. Yeah, I have to do makeshift here. All right, so this. This string we have. All right, upgrade. Oh, we need we need people. Yes, people, of course. Hey, they actually kind of like each other. <laughs> that help. That's helpful. All right, what do we got? Game fling. Tools. Oh, that's right. We need to potentially make tools. Sharpen rely on the wilds used for processing materials. Until it's the extraction of resources growing in a frozen land. Effectively dispels darkness and repels wild animals. So I can actually oh we don't have any mat, we don't have any wood. We need more sticks. I need more sticks. We can make a knife. Let's make a knife. Dependent. Every day when the character performs a given type of action first, they lose comfort and drop morale drops. Huh. Alright, so the only person with any stuff left is you. I need something that would help medicine-wise. I don't have the materials for this anymore. Also, I don't have enough action points to spend, which is too bad.
Looking for anything that says something about medical. Apparently we don't have anything. Hopefully she doesn't get infected. Pour some vodka. Pour some vodka on that hand wound. Everybody get some bugs. Alright. Let's... Um, I guess I'm going to send you to unsnow this. Since you've got action points to spend and it seems silly to, to let them go to waste. Oh, that's some more materials there. Maybe we can do something here. Fence. I'm not worried about a fence right now. Still not enough for that. Unlocks items, bows, arrows, harpoons. Oh, we don't, I don't have anybody with enough skill to do any of this at this point anyway, so it's fine. Alright, uh, Maria, introduce yourself. I'm begging you to help me. We must go back tomorrow to look for Petrushka. That's not how you pronounce that word. Is that your brother? He was a baggage handler? He is. He is a baggage handler. God, I left him alone. Maria, there's no chance that he's survived that catastrophe, and even if somehow bandits pulled him out of the wreck and did not kill him, by looking for him we put ourselves in great danger. You will leave an innocent boy to die. Better him than me. Why should I have my ears frost frostbitten when looking for some brat? Oh, that's not very nice. We'd definitely like to help you in such a situation. Surely you can do something now. First of all, you need to save your strength. You won't help him dead or sick. This remark applies to all of us. Let's gather our strength and avoid fighting. Let's not be conspicuous. Um, Sophia, go ahead and introduce yourself. My dear, thank you, but you shouldn't have saved me. I'm old and weak and will be a burden. Don't say that. No one deserved to die in such circumstances. Now we have to stick together. Every hand helps. When I die, please write Sophia Botanivia, born 1854 in Odessa. Not Texas. Odessa, Russia. Or maybe without the year of birth. You need to think about it. Come on. This moves a little bit slower than I would like right here. Camp morale stayed pretty much even, so that's good. Alright, so what do we got here? Hypothermia. Alright, so let's... I think the warmth is a... Uh, a situation that we can help with more of this. So let me just really... Okay, we're, we have to do this in stages, huh? Let's ramp this guy up a lot here. I'm gonna use all of our pine cones for this. Maybe that'll help warm everybody up. All right. Expedition time. You only have one action point. I like because you're not doing so well, so let's not send you. Send you, and you. Okay. Don't get lost, guys. Hey, eggs! That's nice. Alright, I think we're pushed our luck far enough here. Let's return to camp. 
That's something. That's some stuff. Alright, what can I do here? Can we get a makeshift bed? I think we should have enough wood now. Oh, we got, like, no AP to spend here. Well, let's go ahead and do this anyways. Character knows about treatment as a chance to recover AP from care action. Okay. Well educated. Alright, you... Doesn't have a, don't have enough AP for this. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah. I guess you'll heal. You're the only one who has stuff left. Well, I'm gonna let them have a little bit more heat overnight. I don't think we can. We still can't. We don't have any skill points. Yeah. All right, raw food for everybody. Here we go. All around the bend. Who needs the most food, huh? Your starvation. Everybody else is hunger. All right. We get that. Hallucinating. <laughs> Those were the magic mushrooms. I didn't wasn't paying enough attention to what I was doing. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's go to the end of the day. Oh, something's happening. Why isn't Maria by the fire? After all, you didn't appoint her to go for fuel. Anyway, it's too dark to leave camp. You call quietly, but silence is the answer. She's not around. Was she so unreasonable to go out looking for her brother? Earlier you tried to talk her out of it, but may she may really have run to the wreckage, perhaps hoping that a renegade would not catch her at night. Maria knows the train like the back of her hand and can probably search it in the moonlight, or maybe she has even assembled a torch. Not good. She will bring misfortune upon her. Um, we're going to just have to let her do her thing by herself. Maria has to face the music. If people come out at night, there's a greater chance that something will happen to someone. Alright. Hopefully she's back in the morning. Maria went alone. That girl couldn't stand it and finally went alone to look for her brother. Find Maria at the crash site. Okay, so we can uh, go looking for her. She's an idiot. Quoting Dostoevsky. Girl of compassion. She hopes to find her brother. So I say, naive girl, we've survived because we have a fire and are in a group. The boy froze long ago, even if he survived the disaster. Listen, vain hope, something, can't read. She finds her brother, and she finds peace. She must also find peace of her complaining, unless the girl brings the renegades here. Alright, Alexi, we've already seen Alexi's introduction, so we're just going to click through this. Um... I'm actually just going to skip it. <laughs> I'll see if the extra heat helped out. Hey, I think we've survived longer than we did the last time, though. Um, the heat seemed to help. Everybody is, like, not good, though. Alright, I'm going to stop here for today, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.